Now that you've got your employee information organized and in one location, you may wonder about the best ways to find that information when you need it. Using the filters, sorts, and reports, you can quickly and easily retrieve information from staff files. These tips will show you how. Use filters and sorts. Staff files allows you to set the order that employee names appear in the employee selection list on the left side of the screen and on reports. Simply set your filter and sort preference by choosing Filter and Sort from the View menu. For example, you can choose to filter your employees by status, such as active or inactive, so you only see current or former employees. And you can choose to sort your employees by first name, last name, position, location, or another field. You can use the Filter and Sort options in the Print window when you're running reports, too. Define a custom filter by choosing Filters from the Define menu. Insert your filter criteria, such as a specific department, so your list will only show the employees that meet that criteria. Define a custom sort by choosing Sort from the Define menu. Choose your sort field, such as Location, from the drop-down menu and choose your sort order, such as Descending or Ascending alphabetical order. Run a report. There are two types of reports in staff files, employee reports and staff reports. Employee reports show an individual employee's information. An example of an employee report is the comprehensive report, which lists the general and emergency contact information, EEO designations, hire date, wage rate, benefits, time off accrual balance, latest performance evaluation, and other miscellaneous notes regarding one particular employee. Staff reports show particular information about an entire group of employees. An example of a staff report is the anniversary report, which shows all the active employee names, hire dates, and years of service with your company, all on one report. Another tip is to hide inactive and terminated employees instead of deleting former employee records. The hide function enables you to retain all employee records while leaving employees of a particular status, such as terminated or inactive, out of your reports and current reminders view. To do this, simply click on the status option in the define menu. In the status window, check the hide box for inactive and terminated. We hope these tips have helped you get started with staff files. Additional how-to advice can be found in the help files that are built into staff files, as well as the quick start guide, tips and tricks guide, and list of frequently asked questions on our website. There are also more instructional video tutorials on our YouTube channel. For additional questions, please feel free to email or call us at 1-800-874-8801.